everyone. Uh, we're uh, out here at the barn again. Put the uh, video up last night about the uh, pallet breaker upper and got some real good comments on how to stiffen it up. And I believe uh, the one way that uh, I think is going to be the simplest and maybe the best. And as my good buddy Mr. Wallace of Wallace Knife Works says, give it a little extra butt. <laughs> uh, we're going to use the angle iron trick. Uh, so I've, I've already come out here and I've already got it cut. I just wish they were a little beefier. But I've got them marked and I've got them cut. So we're going to put them on just about like that. And then... Then I'll take my grinder and I'll round this off so we don't have that in the same way back here. So that that way the beefy part is right in here and hopefully that'll be all we need to do. But I came out today with my short pants on. Can't do any welding that way so I got to go in and get changed and uh, then come back out and we'll get this thing to get it all set up. Get our our makeshift welding table made or set up again on top of that like we did the last time and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get started. I have it all set up ready to, to spot weld. Uh, just having to put on my welding sleeves that my uh, my wife was able to pick up for me and uh, we'll get this spot welded and then once that's all done and taken care of and I can get rid of all of the hardware here then we'll go ahead and we'll put the, the full bead two beads on both of them and get this all smoothed down So let's get to uh, uh, let's get to doing some welding here. the idea I'll use pipe clamps and everything else to, to uh, bring this in a little bit closer and tighter as uh, as I get it done and I'll, I'll show you the after effects when it's all done 
No, well, wouldn't luck have it. Ran out of wire. And uh, I had just gotten it spotted. That side did somewhat, but still, just got it spotted. So I'm going to do a little grinding here. And uh, then we'll have to go get some wire somehow. We're going to round this stuff off here and get that wound rounded, ground down. Okay. We shall be back when we get more wire. Okay, it's the next day. Got another spool of wire. I should have probably gotten a bigger 10 pound spool instead of the 2 pound spool because uh, from what I was told or what I actually what I saw on one of the YouTube channels was uh, for every 2 pound spool you lose all the wire that is inside of the delivery system it's a waste and uh, I'm not sure where I put it but uh, that's quite a bit. Now, you go and you multiply that time, times 5, which is the difference between that and a 10-pounder, and uh, you lose quite a bit of wire. So, I'll have to do some calculations, see what it would be for the next time. But I don't do that much welding, so we shall see. Alrighty, I'm going to get together here and try to finish welding up this and clamping it. That's why I got the clamp there to move and brutalize some of this stuff. And see what I can do about getting it finished up and then ground down smooth. And uh, I believe that just may be the ticket. I, I'm not sure what's going on here, but some tree attacked me while I was up here working on this. And I got a pretty hard head because that's part of it. And that's part of it. And that fell right smack on the back of my head while I was welding. But with all that being said and done... It's done. Now, one thing I did realize, I don't know how to weld. Even though I said I thought I learned, well, that was then, this is now, I'm getting old, I forget. I'm not showing you my welds. <laughs> I will show you that it is done. I will show you that it has angle iron welded underneath it. I can show you from here and I can zoom it in to let you see that what we have here is one inch clearance from the top of that table to the top of those two teeth sticking out there and uh, so far this seems to be pretty doggone stiff now I got a pallet laying right there getting it's ready we've had a rainy day here but that one's ready to be busted apart. So we're we're going to get this down. We're going to put the handle back in it. We're going to give it a test. Get get my toolbox rolled away, and uh, we're going to see just how this really did work. But just from the feel of it, yeah, it added a little extra weight. And I welded it, and on all four sides, there's uh, not much of a chance that that's going to come loose. But it also, because of some of the way that I did it, it should, should give it enough beef or butt to do the job that I need to do here with all of this, as well as future jobs. So let me get that pallet down on the ground and let's see how this works. I'm getting ready to bring it out here. I'm not going to work on this one. That one's almost done. But, folks, this is one of the harder ones. Like I said, this is stapled. Uh, yeah, I got some more over there that are nailed. And uh, I don't think everybody needs to see that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to work on that one there, I believe. And uh, see how this does. Because it was on one of these that bent this the first time. Because it was so hard to get out and me standing on it and jerking and everything else to get it to get it to come off so we're going to give it a shot
again, that's exactly what it was doing before that caused these teeth to bend. That was too solid. That was too solid. I can feel the difference. I can feel the difference in that. It is just that much more solid. And again, you can see, you saw how I had to jerk on it and everything else. That's what bent the MT. And here again, the, the, the screw or the, uh, the staple. Let's well, stay at home one more time. Again, uh, I hope this helped. I know there was one gentleman that uh, said that he was going to try to build one of these. Left a comment, uh, and I hope he comes back and watches this because. To tell you the truth, this is the one thing that was needed, and that is to beefen it up a bit so that uh, uh, it pops these things loose. And I think you saw it. It pops them. And that is that is the key. So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell your family. Tell your friends. Just tell your next door neighbor. We'll catch you all the next time. Y'all have a blessed day. Blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.